Heartland Sports with Jess Todd. Sponsored by Southeast Orthopedics and Sports Medicine. The average age of the Cape Catfish went up a couple of years today. That's because the green and yellow welcomed a trio of new players to the roster for their game against the Springfield Lucky Horseshoes. Scott Schuler, Kevin Boff, and Matt McKay, all friends of Catfish President Glenn Campbell. Sadly, McKay couldn't actually suit up today since he tore his ro rotator cuff a couple weeks before the game, just trying to get ready to play. As I mentioned, all friends of Campbell, and when he took over as president during the offseason, they all wanted to play. Good friends going back all the way to a 1990 state championship together in Utah. In a couple weeks after the group was meeting during the offseason at the Waste Management Open of all places, they said, hey, we're going to play with the Cape Catfish having a game in a couple weeks raising money for Alzheimer's. They have been huge with donating money for that. You're getting a look at a couple of the awesome plays of Balf and Schuler out there. Some good job on defense. Schuler came to cover in second a couple times. Balf, I think, got him on the tag on one of those plays. Ump didn't give it to him, but I think all the fans wanted to. At the plate, Schuler actually drove in a run in this game. They were both making contact left and right. Balf gets a hold of one out to center. Unfortunately, gets caught by the lucky horseshoes. But what a day for the catfish. This group of friends just loving their cleats being laced up one last time, especially, as I mentioned, for a good cause. We were all sitting around several months ago thinking, how can we, you know, it's cliche, but set up a win-win. And, and for us to be able to come out here and, and be able to play is obviously a win. And to be able to uh, contribute to charity and whatnot is also a huge win for us. So it's been great. Absolutely amazing. So grateful. Any opportunity you have to bless lives and, and make the world a better place, you, you take that opportunity. So thank you. You made some good contact out there. Walk me through it. I don't know. Just trying to put the bat on the ball and... Uh, Swing out of my shoes, lucky enough to, to make some contact. It was fun. I got lucky. I got lucky. We've been training hard, but, you know, really thankful and blessed to have some great guys and, you know, have my buddies with me. I mean, it was unbelievable. I mean, just to be around the guys, I mean, they're great guys, first and foremost. But thank Glenn Campbell and the president of the Catfish for, for giving us the opportunity. And, and we raised a little bit of money for a great cause. And so just, just really thankful. Batting one, two in the order and playing first and second. They got it cleared from the Prospect League. What a unique day for the Cape Catfish. And how about more of the nitty gritty from today's game? The Catfish hosting, as I said, the Springfield Lucky Horseshoes. Scott Schuler actually almost made the play of the game. Full laying out there just out of reach on a direct ground ball that got through towards the outfield. The uh, horseshoes bring in a couple runs. They were up by four to one. And then the offense for the catfish and the bats got rolling. Justin Carinci brings in Chris Hall all the way around the speedster, getting in from first base. And then Brody Chrisman brought in another run. And later in the inning, Landon Godsey brings Chrisman home. So that offense tied it up. But later on, Springfield bats got going again. They got the win 7-4. But again, the important thing from today, they were having a lot of fun out there with the trio. Matt McKay, Kevin, Kevin, I'm blanking on his name. Kevin Balf, excuse me. Sorry for that one. And Scott Schuler. awesome to see you guys out there.